Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video where we discuss pass your question for the year of 2020-2021. In this video, we will discuss question 4 regarding chapter 5 states of matter. Question A, sketch a label phase diagram of carbon dioxide. So what is a phase diagram? It's a diagram where we have our y and x axis, where y is our pressure and x axis is our temperature. After we have drawn the axis, we have to draw the shape. Okay, so the shape macam orang tingkat you, satu, dua, tiga. Okay, so in our syllabus, we only learn about CO2 and H2O. Okay, so CO2 is the shape orang tingkat you macam ni. H2O, the exception macam ni. Okay, so what is actually the difference? Okay, so um, here is our solid state, here is our liquid state. From solid to liquid, we call it as melting, kan? So this is our melting curve. So for the case of CO2, the slope to the right. Color untuk uh, H2O, the slope will be to the left. So there are the reasons behind it, but then the question does not ask for it, kan? It's just only ask to draw ataupun sketch a label phase diagram of carbon dioxide. So, we have to draw the shape and don't forget to label each of the state solid, liquid. Here will be gas or you can also write down as vapor. For your phase diagram, next is actually you have to label the triple point and critical point. So, what is actually triple point? Triple point is where your solid, liquid and gas is in equilibrium. So, it is the point where this three met lah. In this case, our triple point here in the middle. Okay, you could uh, write down T or you could also write down the full name, triple point pun boleh, no problem. Okay, besides that, you have to draw the critical point. So, what is a critical point? Critical point is where the point where beyond that, our liquid and gas are no longer distinguishable. We do not know what is it liquid ke, is it gas. Okay, so that's the last point kita lah. Here, this is our critical point. So, this is the label first diagram of carbon dioxide. Okay, how about the unit? Okay, because the question does not give anything. So, it's fine if only you uh, you label it out lah. Pressure, temperature. If the question did give us um, the value, then we have to include the value. And we have to put down the unit lah. In this case, there's no value given. Uh, then, this is our uh, sketch of uh, phase diagram carbon dioxide. Okay. So that is it for question A. Question B, 2 gram of helium and 61 gram of oxygen were placed in a 5 liter tank at 25 degrees Celsius. Determine the partial pressure and the total pressure of the gas mixture. So what does it mean by the partial pressure? So it means that it wants pressure of each of the gas. So this case, our gas is helium and oxygen. So it means that when it asks to determine the partial pressure, it means that it was the pressure helium, and pressure O2. And then the question did ask what is the total pressure. So the question did want the pressure total as well. So there are three questions actually uh, inside part B here. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract all the information from the question. Back to the question, it mentioned about our helium and oxygen were placed in 5 liter tank. So here, I'm just going to draw the tank in terms of in terms of square. But then, uh, in, inside this tank, we have our oxygen and our helium. Again, we have to find the pressure of oxygen, pressure of helium, and pressure total. We're going to add up this uh, two pressure. Okay, so for chapter 5, for specifically, specifically 5.1, there are formula that you have to memorize. The first formula is PV is equal to NRT. Again, P pressure V volume and number of multi temperature. What about R? As R is your gas constant lah. Uh, again, you don't have to memorize. It's actually um in front of your in front of your list of constant. But based on the list of constant, there are two value of R. For our syllabus chapter five here, we're gonna use here R equal to zero point zero eight two or six. Liter ATM per mole per Kelvin. So why do I like to write down the unit for the R as well? Because it denote what would be the unit for PV and NT as well. Okay. Uh, besides that, uh, you have pressure total equal to pressure gas plus pressure H2O. This one, uh, it will be used if the question asks for water displacement method. In this case, our question does not mention anything about water displacement. So we're not going to use this one lah. But then the question did ask about the partial pressure of each of the gas. So again, we cannot use this one because this one must be water, collected over water. Uh, this one H2O. For our case, we only have O2 and H2. So we cannot use this one. 
Okay, so for the partial pressure, there's a formula. This is actually based on the Dalton's law. Okay, partial pressure, to calculate the pressure of each of the gas, you have to find X ni is your mole fraction, back to chapter 1, times by your pressure total. So what is mole fraction? Mole fraction is your mole um, for your specific gas divided by the total mole. Okay, so this case, uh, when the question asks for the partial pressure of He and O2, uh, we have to use this one. Okay, but then before we find the partial here, first what we have to do is actually you have to find the number of mole of each. So here we have mass, then we can find the mole. Lah. Number of mole equal to mass divided by molar mass. And then again, molar mass please refer to your list of constant. Okay, so first we're going to find the mole for these two gas first. Here is the number of mole of each of our gas, helium and oxygen. Okay, back to the formula partial pressure. Uh, it means that here, the uh, mole for each of the gas divided by mole total. So how do we find out the mole total? We're going to add up these two mole, lah, which is these two. So I'm just going to write down the mole total. So it will, we will add up the helium and oxygen. Okay, so why do I find out? Uh, the mole total later on when we find out our partial pressure is here but then when we look back based on the formula it must multiply that by pressure total but how do we get the pressure total here uh, okay so another formula uh, the most famous one the most commonly used is here lah. pv is equal to nrt so here when we're talking about pressure uh, this one is the pressure total lah. Uh, pv equal to nrt so i'm just going to write down Right now, again, we want to find the P, pressure total. So, here I'm just going to pressure total. So, the number of mole here must be the number of mole total. Lah. Okay. Okay. So, once we have, um, make sure that this is the, for the total, then we have to uh, include all the value into the formula. So, pressure here is our unknown. Okay, volume. Volume here, 5 liter. And, and total, we have find out from here. R is your gas constant. Temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. But then, here again, our R is unit per Kelvin. So, you have to change it into Kelvin. So, how to change degrees Celsius to Kelvin? You have to add up to 73.1. So, once you have substitute all the value, you will get your pressure total to be 11.77. Again, well, we find out the pressure total first because when the question asks for partial pressure, here we cannot find it now because we don't have the pressure total. So the first step we have to find the pressure total dulu lah. Okay, again pressure total means that uh, number of mole must be total. So this case number of mole total is when we add up these two from this part. Okay, so make sure all of the value uh, must include uh, must have the correct unit. Uh. L, A, T, M, or mole or Kelvin. Okay, so this one, that's why I've changed it into Kelvin first. Okay, so that's the total pressure. So that's the first part. Now the question did ask for partial pressure. So how do we find out the partial pressure of helium? So again, this case, because we're talking PA equal to XA or NA over NT, this case will be pressure helium. And number of mole will be helium lah, divided by number of total times pressure total number of helium is this one 0 0.5 number of mole total is this one pressure total you get uh, we have found from the previous step 11.77 so that is for the helium so but then the question asks for partial pressure for the gas in this case we uh, we have helium as well as oxygen so again this case pressure o2 Number of mole O2 divided by number of total times pressure. Okay, once you have substituted the value, then you will get the pressure O2 to be 9.32 atm. Okay, so this is one way to find it. Or you could also use, because we know that pressure total is actually when we add up this two, uh, pressure HE plus pressure O2. Pressure total we have found from here. Pressure H2 we have found from here. Okay, then we can find our pressure of O2. Then you will get the answer to be uh, the same as previous step or the same as this step, we will get 9.32. Okay, so once we have found one of the pressure, you can find the other by using the mole fraction or the partial pressure formula as well. Or you can use this one lah. So I'm just going to write down uh, all. Okay, 
both will get the same answer. But then, uh, this first part, uh, you have to find using this one. Lah. Okay, so that is all the solution for question uh, for the year of 2020-2021.